Voice, if conservative, there we go, there we go. Uh, conservative voice, say, all the way from New Haven, Connecticut. Yeah, 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 definitely. Justin, mm -hmm. Justin, Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Lord, we thank you for the day right now. God, we ask for your presence out here right now that you will keep all haters, all those who hate on those who support Trump away. Father God, bless this event and all the organizers right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, your word said, your word said, God, that righteousness exalted a nation but sin is a repost to any people. Your word said, Bless is the nation who God is the Lord, and a people who he has chosen for his own inheritance. Father, bless this event right now. Watch over us, protect us, Lord God, and give us favor for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Thank you everybody for coming out today to this event on um, the American Patriot Council. Just so you all know, there's people marching in every city, major city in America today alongside us for freedom. And I want to say thank Derek for Derek Gibson, who's running against Andrew Cuomo. He's a strong conservative voice. I think that's what we need here in New York City. So without further ado, I'm going to announce our first speaker, Justin Piper. You've been listening to him. He's a great He's a really good conservative voice that we read uh, that we need right now. He's from Connecticut, and um, he's going to speak to you and address you. Good All afternoon, right. everybody. Woo! All right. For many of those that don't know me, my name is Justin Piper, Republican activist for the state of Connecticut. Listen, guys, we we are at war right now, and what I mean by war, maybe not with the guns and the knives and the bayonetas, if we still use them. <laughs> We're in war between conser open conservatism and crazy liberalism. We have to remember, guys, that we live in a country where we can express our own voices without suppression. But unfortunately, big tech like Facebook and Twitter has, has silenced the voices of many conservatives. There are several people in this, there are several people in this audience right now that has been silenced by Facebook by simply posting up, they love Trump, they love Trump, they love the United States of America. It seems like Facebook cares about the feelings of liberals so much that they'll block anything that has the letters USA in it. Listen guys, we're out here to represent freedom. We might have our Trump flags, yeah, that's okay. Yep, you know, Trump is standing for these, for these basic freedoms that we have. You know, shall we have another, for, shall we have a liberal president like Joe Biden, Oh, oh, or, 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 or Kamala Harris get into office, we can already see our civil liberties taken away. Kamala Harris, our most liberal vice president candidate, would like to abolish the Second Amendment. When the Second Amendment is abolished, then our First Amendment is abolished. The, the Bible's... As, I'm not going to be here long, but as far as our New York governor, I would like to, you know, I would like to mention, you know, Gibson. I met Gibson January 25th at a Trump rally in New Jersey, and ever since I met him, it, it inspired me to continue speaking, fighting the good fight. Because listen, being a person of color and also a conservative, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Listen, we get we get all called all kinds of names. We already know the Uncle Tom, the Coons, the Whitewash. But and the only reason why we're called this is because we have planted a seed. We have planted a seed. The Bible says to plant seeds and we usually reap souls. So planting positive seeds in people will, def will definitely reap souls. Somebody told me, in conclusion, somebody told me when I was in a customer's house last year that Trump is an amazing president. I used to be a Trump hater and didn't know why. I used to hate Trump. I used to say, fuck Trump. Fuck Trump. I used to be like the people that are out there saying fuck Trump until I started my own research and look at the many things he's done for the American people. On top of that, black people. You know what it is? They don't know it, they don't care. They don't know it, they don't listen, care. Guys, That's why. Listen guys, listen, listen. Real quick, real quick. You know what it is? Liberals have been, you know, Democrats, especially black Democrats have been brainwashed so long. They've been told that they're going to be, they've been told by the Democrat Party, they're going to do something for you. We're going to come after you. We're going to help you. We're going to help you. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Every leap, 
year. Every four years, they come up with the same rhetoric. And as soon as they win, you know, because the only way that the Democrat can survive, the Democrat Party can survive, if there are poor people. And what I mean by poor people, not poor financially, but poor mentally. The Democrat, the Democrat Party is a poor mindset. If you call yourself a Democrat, understand you're calling yourself poor. Notice there's, notice there's a reason why you will never meet a, a poor black Republican. Notice there's a reason why you will never meet a poor, per, a poor white person that lives in a, a poor white Republican that lives in a trailer home. You know why? Because the Republican Party, the Republicans, want everybody to know that they're rich, that they're wealthy, wealthy in spirit, wealthy in, wealthy in positivity. Listen, you're in the way. So with every, so you with see? Being Where's the tolerance? Where's the tolerance here? Where's the Tell me why. Listen, maybe you should just listen. Listen, listen with an open mind because you're not Everything listening with an open mind. mind. No, you're not. You're attacking everything. You're not listening. You're attacking. Isn't our American flag beautiful, guys? Yeah. Isn't our American flag beautiful? USA! 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 Listen, all I know is that I'm not trying to live in a communist country. Because if I'm one that moved to China, I'll go to Venezuela or some shit like that. That's all I know. And with this coronavirus, people are too blind to see what's going on. They trying to eliminate you and me. So how, how, really? Really? So how come I'm still like that? I don't wear a mask. I don't wear a mask. Let me finish up, guys. Listen, I love this country. This is the only place where I can be free. This is the only place where I can worship God openly. This is the only place where I can fly my, my Trump 2020 flag without my house being burned down. At the end of the day, Democrats don't stand for America, which is the reason why we're showing your ignorance. We will never 